Thunderdome Boxing Talk. Hey, Anthony here. All right. Uh, this is from the title, obviously. Uh, Roman Gonzalez versus Carlos Cuadras. Um, the best fight uh, of September 10th, in my opinion. Um, I think this is the most evenly matched fight of that day. Um, Hands down it is. Hands down it is. Obviously, you know, um, you know, there's other, other really good fights that day. But this fight is just, you know, man, it's, it can go either way. It can go either way. You know, uh, and, you know, major props to, uh, Quadras, first of all, for taking the fight. Um, but also even a little more to Roman Gonzalez for taking on Quadras, who he has fought at 15 before, like, uh, before HBO when he had already planned on moving up to, you know, he had, like, he basically fought a nobody there just to get, you know, kind of used to the weight, but then they brought him back down to 112, uh, you know, for HBO purposes, um, then they wanted him to move up then on HBO, uh, after fans had already got to know him, which is crazy to me that, you know, so many people had literally, you know, never heard of Roman Gonzalez before HBO, you know, um, that's amazing to me, you know, like, I don't know, I, you know, I, I mean, people have said, you know, how good is this guy if I've never heard of him until he came on HBO? How don't you know a guy who has cleared three divisions, was the best in every division, fought, you know, uh, guys like Estrada, for crying out loud, um, you know, Ashida, uh, you know, Oscar Blanquette, uh, I mean, the, the, the names go on and on, but, like, how can't you know him? That's a better question. You know, especially for boxing channels. I'm not talking about commenters. I'm talking about guys who are saying that, you know, they know so much about boxing that, you know, they have a boxing channel, right? Uh, but, and none of them know about Quadras until this fight was made. Like, how crazy is that? A guy who's 35-0 and with 27 KOs, 7 title defenses, how don't you know him? Because you don't pay attention to the lower weight classes. That's why I like... Shout out BT from True School Sports, who I will have at this fight, covering this fight. Um, so, you know, have some good stuff after the fight for that. Um, but, you know, he did a very good video that I suggest you go watch. Uh, which was in a response to the Ego video, where Ego was like, you know, I never heard of this guy until HBO, and blah, blah, blah. And I, you know... Um, uh, other things, you know, such as, you know, Roman, he, Roman, basically to him, Roman shouldn't even be on the pound for pound list. Uh, that Roman shouldn't be on the pound for pound list until he fights a guy that he feels can beat Roman. But then he, before he said that, he admitted he don't follow the lower weight classes. So how do you know if a guy can beat him or not? Like, what, Estrada couldn't have beat him? You know? Come on, you know, uh, Ashida couldn't have beaten him. Uh, I mean, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous, you know. But you know, we got a guy, two undefeated guys, two undefeated top guys. Like, if there was a, a pound for pound top fifteen in Ring Magazine, Quadrus is on it. Okay, Quadrus is on it, um, and so is Anui. As a matter of fact. Who he is, he's on the uh, transnational pound for pound um, list, which is much, in my opinion, is much more uh, you know reputable than Ring, uh, because Ring shows a lot of bias at times, uh, you know, not not necessarily bias, but some of the people on the panel are you know really biased, um, but you know you got Carlos Quadras, 35 and 0, 27 KOs. Um, what's that, like, 
high 70s, 80% KO ratio. And you got Roman Gonzalez, who is uh, 46 and 0, 38 KOs. That is uh, damn near, you know, what, high 80s? High 80s, 90? Can't be 90. Is it? Does he have a 90% KO ratio? Sorry, I gotta do this math in my head. I think it's like 88. I'm, I just kind of jumped there right there. I didn't finish the problem. I think it's like 88% KO ratio. But you got two guys who are highly talented. Highly talented. Both punchers. Both knockout artists. Both guys who can stop you with either hand. Um, Roman obviously could stop you with one shot at any time. Um, usually breaks guys down. Um, same with, uh, you know, I mean, it's the lower divisions, you know, so it's the same with Quadras. But, you know, being that he has, I believe it's a one inch height uh, advantage and a two inch reach advantage. But in their face-off, he looked more than an inch taller than me. Um, Quadras did. He looked more than an inch taller than me. Let me know what you think about that. Um, but um, he's clearly bigger. Bigger in every way, shape, and form. You know, uh, dimensionally, height and reach, and weight. You know, he fills out more. He rehydrates more. On fight night, There's, I guarantee you he weighs more than Roman Gonzalez. I'd be very surprised if he didn't. And if he didn't, then Roman might be in some trouble. Um, honestly. Maybe put on a little too much weight. Uh, because he got to be quick for Quadras. Because Quadras likes to uh, move. You know, he's not a runner. Don't get that confused with running. He is a boxer puncher. Um, slash combination puncher slash aggressive um, boxer puncher. He's an I, yeah, I guess that's how I would classify it. He's an aggressive boxer puncher because he can throw eight, nine, ten punch combos if he you know if he wants, and he does sometimes, but not as you know often as. But he's you know usually always throwing you know three, four, five punch combos. Um, and, you know, the same goes for Roman. I mean, these guys let the leather fly, as with most uh, lower, you know, weight guys. Um, and that's why some of them get losses because, you know, when there's a fight where, um, you know, uh, each guy threw over, a, you know, a thousand punches in it, like a ten-round fight even, you know, over a thousand punches in that fight, uh, yeah, some rounds can rounds can go to either damn guy because so much leather was flying. The judges are like, whoa, 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 uh, yeah. you know, maybe you know, upon further review, like after the fight happened, they rewatch it and they say, oh, I scored that wrong. But on the night of the fight, hey man, it's a lot of leather flying there, and they might score it for the wrong guy. So, you know, guys can get decision wins and things like that um, when they just had a very close fight, but, you know, lost, but it was very, very close, you know, so it's very rare you see two guys, it's very rare you see guys at the lower classes, first of all, that actually are just undefeated, because, number one, they can be beat by even, um, you know, just decent fighters, um, you know, just decent fighters can beat them, uh, and, um, you know, what I just, the reason why I just gave, but, you know, to have two top, top undefeated fighters going at it, you know, and one moving up in a, a, a division. And the reason why I said earlier, give, like, more, even a little more respect to Roman, uh, I, I kind of got sidetracked because, you know, he was going to move up before, but then, you know, the HBO thing happened, and, you know, he's moving up now, and that's, he was, you know, he's not going to be drained in this fight like he was versus McJoe Rurio, still trying to make 112. No, for this fight, he'll have plenty of fuel and be able to burn all night long, baby. You know, so expect a barn burner. Um, I, you know, come on. And... Uh, we all know what Roman does. I'll get to him. But for Quadras, because I know a lot of people don't know much about Quadras, um, he likes, you know, he got a big, long jab. 
good jab. Um, you know, I'll get I'll, I'll get to about the jab, but he, he got a good long stiff jab, uh, and he likes to move. You know, so he likes to pick you apart for a little bit. Then he'll plant his feet and kind of you know he gets in that head movement and waits for you to come in, uh, throw the punch, slip it, and then boom, boom, boom gets into the exchanges. You know, will slip one of your punches, turn you, crack you a couple more times, get back out. Go back to popping the jab, lighten you up with a, you know, a power shot, jab, jab, power shot, power shot, power shot. You know, he's extremely aggressive. Like, he's a, I, I have no other way to, better way to put it that I can think right now as a, a very aggressive boxer puncher. Um, then we have Roman, the very aggressive inside fighter, who is, you know, both of these guys have very high uh, skill levels, very, you know, refined skills. I would say Roman has more, his skill set is more refined. Um, but it's going to be interesting. Can he get inside? Can he cut the ring off on uh, um, Quadras enough to where he's able to, you know, through the early rounds? Um, you know, he'll probably end up studying them the first round and give that round away, which could cost them later in the fight, which I'll get to. Um, but then, you know, he'll start picking it up and burning. But he's gonna ha he's obviously going to get inside at times, but he needs to get inside enough for the, you know, the earlier rounds, the first quarter of the round, to really put some good work in. Uh, the mid-rounds, you know, he needs to be putting more work in, and then hopefully he's able to take over, for his case, hopefully he's able to take over um, big time at the end of the fight um, but that's going to be difficult with a guy who like Quadras who knows how to use that ring he's very good at using that ring in distance um, and he got a big stiff long jab to keep you away from him so obviously Roman's going to have to you know, cut the ring off slip that jab get inside go to work um and he's you know in, in regards to slipping that jab quadris is open to you know counter shots if you slip that jab um even if you you know even if he hits you with the jab you could still crack him because he throws the jab like he has his hands real far apart and he'll throw the jab and he's He's not real tight, like, you know, like Roman Gonzalez coming in, boom. Like, no, he's more loose and throws it wide. You know, it's a stiff jab, but he, he's open. You know, um, like, you'll see fighters and uh, do it to him, and I, I know Roman will do it to him, but, you know, they can slip the jab over here and pop him with this shot, you know, or they can slip inside and block it and then bang, crack him. Or they can just come in high guard, boom, pick the jab off, bang or bang bang you know one two um roman needs to be doing a lot of that cracking him and then wing into the body he needs to chop that body down which is obviously a specialty but he needs to chop that body down to take quadrus's legs away from him or he's in for a long night man a long night how much time about like 13 minutes he got a long night ahead of him if he doesn't um, and that's what's so intriguing to me. Is he going to be able to? You know, to, to me, this is a pick em fight. You know, I, it really is. This is a pick em fight, man. Quadras is much bigger. One shot can end Roman's night to the body or the head. Um, and Quadras, also, you know, a knockout puncher, he can land. They both got good chins. Um, but. You know, Quadras does have a very good chance of either dropping Roman uh, at any point in the fight, and he very well may, so don't be surprised if you see him hit the canvas um, or just putting his lights out or hitting him with a body shot that he ain't able to recover from like he did against Valorie. You know, um, <clears throat> Quadras extremely fast defensive reflexes like when he gets in there and exchanges he does you know similar things to Roman I don't want to say that I guess let me think of who I could uh, compare him to uh, almost like 
almost like Canelo meets Manny Pacquiao type, because he'll get in there, you know, and uh, and hit you with like the the uh, the you know he'll hit you with a five two, you know, reach in, l you know, left uppercut is the five, you know, just bang two, you know, and then uh, you'll throw a hook or something, he'll swoop under it like Manny always did. Remember Manny would land his shot and then swoop under your jab, and now he's on your side and hitting you again. He does that same thing. You throw a hook, and he don't just duck under it. No, he swoops and turns so he can work you some more. Um, very good at angles. Extremely athletic. Extremely athletic. I don't know why guys don't pay attention to these lower weight classes, first of all. This is literally where some of the best fights are, period. Because the best fight the best. That's how they get their paydays, first of all. Um, and Quadras, I just saw a Quadras interview where he was talking about, you know, he feels these lower weight class guys are very underpaid. And, my God, is he telling the truth. Um, I know they aren't getting them. I don't know the purses for this fight. I didn't look, at, look it up, but uh, I know they aren't getting a million damn dollars. And they should at least be getting a million bucks for this fight, man. Um, I know, I've heard that they are adding additional seating in the arena, so they're selling plenty of tickets for this fight. So why aren't they getting at least a mil a piece, you know? Or at least uh, 750k or something like that, you know? I, I, maybe Roman's getting a, a, a nice payday in Quadrasane, or I don't know, but I... I there's no way that there's 1.5 million being split between the two of them. No way. No way. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm, I'm just taking an educated guess. But I don't see how they're getting that money. But they should be. If they're selling that many tickets, how aren't they? You know, it, it, it doesn't make sense to me. Someone's pocketing a little too much money and not sharing it with the fucking fighters who deserve it more than anybody. Um, but, you know, uh, Quad just has very fast defensive reflexes. Like I said, you know, how he can do the Manny Pacquiao thing. Like, as soon as he sees your shot, won't swoop, and the athleticism able to turn at the same time, you know, like all one motion and then bang, 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 combo punching again. Um, great combination puncher, as is Roman. Uh, great body puncher, as is Roman. Um, only problem, the, the only thing I don't like about uh, Quadras and, and his fighting style, which it's never, you know, uh, cost him yet, um, is sometimes he can loop his punches. He can telegraph them a little too much. He gets a little too wild. Like, he'll just woof, wing a big left hook. Um, just telegraph it way too much. Uh, and and he, he can do it with basically any punch. Uh, he doesn't do it all the time. He can throw perfectly straight shots. I'm just saying sometimes he gets a little overexcited and, you know, wings uh, looping shots. Uh, maybe Roman can take advantage of that. Um, you know, uh, the whole question, though, for, you know, Quadras is can he keep Roman out of range, you know, and land enough shots on him if he don't catch him and clip him and knock him out? Can he keep him at range long enough to, you know, kind of not pick him apart, but, you know, outpoint him? for enough rounds to get a decision if you don't clip him and knock him out. Because Roman is going to be stalking him, you know. He's going to have his hands up, though. And, and I'll get to, to Roman. But uh, Quadras, obviously, his game plan is to box, you know, score enough points, jab, jabs, and, you know, uh, you know, working off of the jab and getting out of there without getting hit or, you know, landing three and only taking one. Um, and then, you know, he'll get into exchanges, obviously. Um, but he's going to try to make sure he's out, out pointing them or breaking them down. Um, cause he's going to be trying to break Roman down just as much as Roman is trying to break, um, quadras down. He needs, he's going to be trying to, to, to get Roman to run into a big shot, all right? Um, I'm sure they're practicing on the uppercut. 
he is he, he throws a very good uppercut um, and he likes to use it um, he almost reminds me of James DeGale you know uh, DeGale will kind of hop up with them uppercuts at times he does something similar not like exactly like James DeGale but similar is all I'm saying um, but they might be you know when Roman comes in and they're jabbing and backing up and then boom split the guard you know, because he's going to be coming in with that high guard, try to split that guard. And then, you know, boom, right hook, or right uppercut, left hook, bong. I mean, it would be nights out for, for Roman. I know they both got good chins, but I don't know if he can take a big shot from Quadras. Uh, we'll have to find out. Um, but Roman, we all know what Roman's going to do. He's going to be cutting that ring off. Uh, and he has to to focus on the body. Now, at the beginning, obviously, he can't just throw nothing but body shots or else he'll just be covering up his body and it's not going to be effective. But he's going to have to go upstairs but then come back down. Like, he always, same thing he always does, mixing it up, going up top, bottom to top, bottom to top, you know, mixing it up, but applying the majority of his shots early to the body, you know. And um, Quadras also can throw combinations, um, you know, he can hit you uh, top and bottom in combination, like throw a four or five punch combo and land, you know, three to the head, two to the body, um, both great combination punchers, um, both very athletic, I mean, both great footwork, just different footwork, um, it's a, this is a styles make fights fight. And that's what's so great about it, because you don't know which style is going to be able to win, you know. And it's a, you know, usually when you have a bigger boxer puncher, um, they're able to beat the, you know, the naturally smaller, aggressive fighter. Uh, and that's why it's going to be so impressive if Roman beats him. All right, because Quadras is like a top 15 pound four pound fighter. So, you know, just because he's not on the ring magazine top 10 pound for pound don't mean he ain't damn close. Okay. Um, but Roman, obviously, like I said, got to break the body down because he has to take Quadras' legs away. And I don't mean away like as in completely, but he got to slow those legs down down um, or it's going to be a long night for him a long night for him uh, I mean it's not a bad idea to lay some money on Quadras for the, by the way I mean if you like betting on live underdogs Quadras is your guy um, I'm really thinking about it I probably will as a matter of fact because um, you know man, I ain't going to lay like so much that it's going to hurt like Make piss me off if I lose it. I mean, I'll obviously be pissed, but not, you know, you know, you know what I mean. Um, but he's got to lay some money on another one, and people are sleeping on this bet. Brooke, Kel Brook, my God! Like I know it's a long shot, but even a hundred bucks, two hundred bucks, three hundred bucks, um, you know, whatever you can afford to basically throw away, because you very well might be throwing it away, but. Um, he's a live dog too. Not as live as Quadras, but the odds aren't as you know great for uh, um, you know uh, the, the Quadras fight. But he's a live, live, live fighter in this man. I don't know who's gonna win. Like, I, and you never know who's gonna win any fight. But what I mean is, you know, you have a very good idea of who's gonna win. Well, not in this fight not in this fight and there's this is 100 percent not going to be a foul fest it's not going to be a stinker this is going to be an action-packed war you know war this is going to be a great fight and it's rare you can say that you know before a fight even happened you know like usually you have to see it and or while you're watching it be like wow this turned out as great as we hoped I can already tell you this is going to be a great fight. Trust me. Watch my post-fight video, and you know, you'll you'll be like, yeah, wow, that fight was as good as you said it would be. Um, there's no way it can't be. No way it can't be. 
Um, but, you know, yeah, Roman got to take them legs away, man. Take his legs away. Quadras' his legs away. Um, and do his thing, man. Do his thing. Try to break him down, slow him down to where in the second half or the, you know, the 7th, 8th, ninth, 10th round, he can really take over and bank those rounds. Um, you know, and hopefully he had one of, you know, for his case, a few other rounds throughout the fight, uh, which I think he will. Um, but, you know, either guy can win this fight. I mean, I think the most likely outcome is a Roman decision. If he knocks him out, if Roman knocks Quadras out, I will be amazed. Like, amazed. I would actually be less amazed um, if Quadras knocked Roman out, the pound-for-pound pound number one fighter in the world. Because I know he can walk on to a shot, you know? Um, but Roman, it, it, it'll, it'll really impress me if he stops him. I don't think he will. I don't think he, he, he you know, he can, but, I mean, it's very slim that that's likely to happen. Um, I think he'll win by a close decision, man. Like, maybe one judge has it 116-112. And two might have it like 117, or, or I mean 115, 113. Um, I'm talking that close, man. It's going to be a tough, tough fight. Um, I, I th Personally, I think this is his toughest fight ever, Romans. Um, and yeah, you can be like, well, what about Estrada? Um, yeah, I mean, that was obviously his best win ever. Um, you know, uh, and I think... Uh, um, Quadras' best win ever was uh, Luis Concepcion, who is, the, you know, he lost to um, Quadras in a bid for the title and went on a string of wins and now is the WBA champion at 115. You know, um, uh, who, the, who the hell did he beat again? Who'd he beat? Who'd he beat? I don't know. Straight up can't remember. Um, man, how can I not remember who he beat? It's, uh... Oh, it's on the tip of my tongue. Anyway, I'll get... I'll, 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 I'll remember his name in the middle of this. What's the time here? I'm trying to keep it short. Okay. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, Roman got to do what Roman does. And it's gonna. that's what's so intriguing is can he do it to this guy? A bigger fighter, rangier fighter, rangy fighter with a, a stiff jab, great footwork, you know, uh, good ring IQ and, and, you know, nose distance and how to escape a guy trying to cut the ring off on him. Um, I don't... He's never faced anyone like Roman. Uh, that's for damn sure. Roman has fought guys who are as good as him in, like, the pound-for-pound pound context. Um, like, you know, Ishida's and the Estrada's and, and, you know, uh, uh, you know, even, you know, guys like, uh, honestly, like a, a Valorie. Um, but... He has a different skill set, you know, the one that actually stylistically is the, the, the one you would expect to beat Roman. And he's doing it, you know, like I said, he had fought at 115 before, uh, but it was just like a, a guy to just come up, get used to the weight, uh, get his training regimen down to make 115, you know, how it feels, everything like that. Um, but then he had you know, what, three fights at 112 after that, uh, Sosa, um, Gloria and Arroyo, yeah, three fights after that, um, then he's moving right back up to 15 and fighting, you know, basically the number one guy, um, I consider him the number one guy, I would not argue with anyone who has, uh, Inui at number one, the only thing is, is Inui at 115, He's only had four fights there. 
Um, and oh my god, he just had a hell of a fight. Uh, versus Karun. Oh, great fight. Oh, oh, shout out Nawata. I just watched that video. And um, his uh, breakdown or review of the, uh, the, the Anui Karun fight. And he said, which I agree with 100%, he said, if you don't know much about Anui and you want to, you know, see his, uh, his repertoire or, you know, basically uh, as much of his skill set as you can in one fight, that's the fight to watch. All right. And because he pulled out all the stops. Great fight, man. And Kroon really came to win. Really came to win. But Anui took it to another level and knocked him out. Um, stopped him anyway. You know, not knocked him out, but um, you know, you got you got the well the winner, the winner I should say, of uh Roman and Quadros will be the WBC champion. You got Anui, um, the WBO champion. Um, you got and 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 I always mess this guy's name up. And Kahas, and Kahas, and Kahas. Uh, you know, it's, uh, I'm terrible with uh, foreigners' names. Uh, with the IBF um, and Luis Concepcion with the WBA. So and you got the the the. Uh, not the Ishida that you know that I knew he fought before, um, but Ishida uh, for 115 coming up. I believe he's 22 and 0 now. Um, he's moving up them rankings. Uh, I mean, there's a lot of guys there. There's so many great fights to to, to be had at 115, um, and the winner. I, I mean, Anui, you know, uh, just took care of his little Mando situation to get it out of the way because he, you know. His promotional outfit wants him to be able to fight the winner of this fight next. So the winner, we we can, you know, especially if Roman Gonzalez wins, then we're going to be getting Gonzalez and Nui next. And like that's been one of my fantasy fights for, you know, the last year minimum. I mean, since I've had my channel, it's been one of my damn fantasy fights. Um, and yeah, you could be like, well, Nui, you know, he's just coming up, but. He's a mon he's a monster. Like his nickname fits perfectly. The guy's a monster. Um, I'm, I don't know if he's quite ready for Roman just yet, uh, but hey, let's find out, man. Let's find out if Roman uh, can absorb the 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 punishment that Anui dishes out, and let's find out if Anui. Um, can handle the skill set of Roman and handle the punishment that Roman dishes out. Um, but, you know, uh, I would probably say my, like, if I, if I had to make, like, pick, like, my, first of all, my pick is obviously Roman by split decision, but, like, my, I think the second most likely outcome would be Quadras by knockout. Just by clipping uh, Roman, either by coming in or in the middle of an exchange. Um, and that's dead serious. That's why it's such uh, an intriguing fight to me. Like, I, I can't wait. I can't wait. You know, I'm, I'm so jealous of my man BT. Uh, gonna get to be there fucking ringside watching this shit. You know, um, man, I thought I got to, you know, see some of the best fucking. Roman fight uh, ringside, and I think he's gonna trump me on it because I think this might be Roman's best fight. Um, if he, you know, does what you know, general boxing fans are expecting him to do, like go in there and basically beat the hell out of uh, Quadras, which I don't think will happen, obviously. Um, but if he does, <sighs> wow. And even even if it's just a, a give and take, you know, going back and forth, uh, that that's what makes a fight so great. I mean, I, I just beat down um, is a great performance, but not a great fight. You know, a give and take is what makes a great fight. Um, hey, you know, um, this th this fight is very close. Either guy can win. Um, let me know who you're picking and by what route. You know, if you're picking Quadras, tell me if by <clears throat> decision or stoppage. And same for Roman. 
Roma by decision or stoppage. Um, let me know what you think, man. Um, like I said, I'm going Roman by uh, a close decision. You know, 116-112 type fight or uh, a mixture. You know, 116-112, 117 or 115. Why do I keep saying that? 115-113 type. You know, somewhere in there. Um, because I, I can't, I can't imagine this fight. You know happening without Quadras getting at least four rounds. I, I, he, he, I just can't see it, you know, I mean, I could be very easily wrong, but, um, I don't know. I, I think he'll get at least four rounds, and that's why I think it's going to be a neck-and-neck neck fight, uh, and it's really going to come down to them last rounds, you know, like the last, and I'm not talking the last two, I'm talking like the last, like, you know, four rounds. Um, who can really take over in those rounds. Uh, really looking forward to this fight, man. You do not want to miss this fight. Um, same day as Glovkin Brook, in case, you know, you you don't know when this fight's happening. September 10th. Alright, it's not when you watch, if you watch Glovkin Brook live, you're not going to see this fight. Because it's happening in L.A. in the evening. So it's on HBO, you know, in the evening. Uh, but they will be showing a replay of the Brook uh, Golovkin fight before the uh, Gonzalez Quadras fight in the evening. You know, not the afternoon telecast. So be sure to watch this fight. I'm telling you, if you I'm telling you, you don't want to miss this fight. Um, no real boxing head should dare miss this fight. Uh, but yeah, let me know who you pick. And by what route? Thunderdome Boxing Talk. Peace.